What's up everyone? This is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com. Today we are going to learn how to make the fade effect with anything that we want anywhere on our website. You've probably seen this before with a little guy called jQuery over here and they have this really simple thing that if ever you want to do a fade in you could just click a button and it would fade something in and they have another demo over here where you click something and all of a sudden a fade happens and it shows you another div. But the problem with jQuery is I honestly don't like it that much because it really dumbs things down. And honestly one day I just woke up and I was like I wonder how I can make the fade in effect and I couldn't figure it out. I read a lot online and then finally I finally figured it out and when you do things like that you learn so much more about JavaScript than you would if you just use jQuery. So what I'm going to teach you guys in this tutorial is how to do exactly what jQuery is doing on your own because through that process you guys are going to learn so much about JavaScript. So this is actually exactly what we're going to use. I just got a random image you can get whatever image you want but as you will see when we click fade out just like jQuery it goes away and when we click fade in it comes back so this is what we are going to make in our tutorial and you will be able to take whatever you it, it will literally look just like jQuery and it will say on click fade in and it will say the div that you want to fade in and that's it so implementing it after you make the JavaScript functions are going to be very very easy and then you can also see where I have this on my site if you come to my site, you will see down here there's a way that you can comment on any of my videos. So if you click comment, all of a sudden it pops up really fast. Because honestly, if you want to do something, you want to see it immediately. So I didn't use the fade for coming in. But then to make it ele elegantly go out, if you click the X, it will nicely fade out. And if you click here, it nicely fades out. And if you see the message from me, when you click my name, you will also see that nicely fades out. And I use the exact same function that you see here where things fade out. So I'm going to teach you guys a lot of JavaScript in this tutorial because I honestly don't like using things like jQuery because when you use things like JavaScript, you learn so much more about the language that you never would have learned if you would have just put jQuery onto your page. So I hope you guys are interested in this tutorial. I hope you guys want to learn a whole bunch of JavaScript in here and learn just a different way of thinking on some things because I know you're probably thinking, how the I don't even know where I'm going to start with this thing. So I'm going to walk you guys through everything. And quite honestly, these are not going to be very many tutorials. This is actually going to fly through pretty quick because this is a lot easier than you think. So if you guys like what I'm talking about and you want to see the next tutorial, go to the next tutorial and start watching these because I'm sure it is going to be something you're interested in. So thank you for watching. Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and I hope to see you guys in the next tutorial.